Hey, what's up guys? This is Cole with CJC Offroad, and today we have a tech video we put together for you guys. Uh, this video is highlighting steering stabilizers and specifically how they pertain to 2014 to current Ram 2500 and 3500 trucks. Uh, for today's video, we actually have the perfect candidate, my 2020 Ram 2500, uh, that actually has uh, some of these aftermarket stabilizers on it. So to basically break down what we're discussing here, uh, these Ram 25 and 3500 platform trucks from 2014 and now actually come with a single factory steering stabilizer that goes in what, uh, you know, if you're referring to low mount or high mount, it, it comes mounted in the low mount location. Let's talk about steering stabilizers in theory before we dive deeper into this. So a steering stabilizer is basically the shock that connects, uh, you know, from your truck or your axle to your steering linkage to basically alter uh, how shocks are transmitted uh, through your, from your wheels, basically up to your steering wheel. Uh, factory steering stabilizers have a lot of high speed compression damping. And what this means is that the harder hits, they're meant to slow down. Uh, whereas on the lo lower speed compression, you're not supposed to feel them a whole lot. Um, and so the idea is basically larger perfections of the road aren't tossing your steering wheel back and forth and the truck feels very composed going down the road. So what does the steering stabilizer do? Uh, if you look underneath the front of your truck, you have a little uh, shock absorber connecting your lower steering linkage piece, the tie rod, that's the longer steering linkage uh, component, uh, to your front axle. And what you're actually doing with that, or what the idea is behind it, is to reduce uh, feedback through your steering. So you hit an imperfection in the road, such as a pothole, a rut, anything like that. And what it's intended to do is to reduce shock that works its way up in your steering wheel, basically making the truck feel more composed. Now, um, Keep in mind the factory steering stabilizer is designed around smaller stock wheels and tires, which, um, you know, for the sake of the majority of the builds we're referring to are going out the window. Um, also keep in mind that it is, you know, basically designed around a stock truck for, you know, primarily highway usage, things like that. So, you know, for farm usage or, you know, minor off-road usage, the, you know, we find that these factory steering stabilizers are significantly inadequate for, uh, you know, what we're trying to do with them. And that is where these higher end steering stabilizers come into play. Uh, for the sake of this video, we'll be highlighting Carly's steering stabilizers. So uh, you'll probably see online, there's a high mount stabilizer, there's a low mount stabilizer. Now what's happening is the factory stabilizer is technically a low mount stabilizer. So Carly's low mount stabilizer is a drop in for that. As a result, that's what you'll typically see most people running. Carly also offers a high mount stabilizer that mounts up above, uh, basically off of your truck's frame up to the factory drag link. Um, this is intended to actually push in the opposite direction of the low mount stabilizer. Uh, so ideally, if you're running both steering stabilizers, you are maximizing the amount of damping on the truck. Uh, not only that, you are uh, preloading the joints, pushing in both directions. And what you're essentially doing is preloading those joints. So any kind of wear and tear, any kind of slop in your factory joints, you're not feeling that nearly as much due to the push of both directions from steering stabilizers. So while in theory, you're not tightening up your your steering components with stabilizers, you're certainly making it feel like it should. The added benefit is that since one stabilizer will be uh, compressing while the other's expanding, uh, basically wherever you're at throughout the range of your steering, you have a relatively even push or pull from each stabilizer which produces a very even, very natural feel throughout the cycle of the steering. A lot of you are gonna ask, uh, which Carly steering stabilizer do I run? You know, in an ideal world, uh, you'll run both, right? That's the simplest thing because you throw both stabilizers on there and you have full adjustability with both to dial it in for your truck. Now, realistically, most people just want to purchase one steering stabilizer or the other, and uh, that's where all this comes into play. So in theory, um, all these stabilizers are adjustable, right? So Carly has trader valves on these stabilizers to run from what we call a neutral zone of about 40 PSI, all the way up to a uh, push zone of about 200 PSI. So Carly's low mount stabilizer cranked all the way up, pushes slightly right. Carly's high mount stabilizer pushed or cranked all the way up, pushes slightly left. So again, you can see why we like running both because it makes for a really simple solution, uh, you know, even push pull, no matter where you're at in the steering and a very even steering feel. Uh, that said, a single steering stabilizer can still do the trick. And that actually is what we recommend for most people, uh, you know, the typical daily driver, you know, truck driven around town. It's a really simple way to go. Uh, most people opt for Carly's low mount stabilizer, uh, partially due to price point, partially due to the fact that it's a drop in for the factory steering stabilizer. And because for most people, it's all you need. So that single stabilizer uh, with the adjustability it offers, uh, you could throw it on if your truck, you know, tracks relatively straight, 
you put that string stabilizer on and the truck, you know, adjusts the stabilizer pressure maybe slightly down to the neutral zone, say around 50 to 100 PSI, trucks track straight down the road. Super simple. Now, some of the more aggressive, uh, you know, mud terrain tire combinations, uh, you guys know who you are that are running these setups. Carly's high mount stabilizer can be a great option. So a lot of the really aggressive mud terrain tires tend to pull to the right. Uh, prior to Carly releasing these stabilizers, there was no solution for you guys. Uh, now that Carly offers their high mount stabilizer for these 2014 and newer Rams, uh, that stabilizer alone can take care of an aggressive right pull under your truck. One really interesting thing to note about these Carly stabilizers, as opposed to just about every stabilizer on the market, is most stabilizers are just shocks that are the, happen to be the correct length, uh, you know, basically fit on your truck as a steering stabilizer. Most dual stabilizer setups are just generic shocks thrown on there to look nice. These Carly stabilizer shocks are actually tuned from the ground up as steering stabilizer shocks. The benefit of this is if you, um, if you all look at it from a tuning perspective, Carly has these shocks tuned to basically have high speed damping. So what, what that means is the harder shocks, right? So uh, you hit, you know, large pothole, large rut, things that really throw your steering wheel around, the shock kicks in aggressively and basically damps that movement. But the lower speed is a little less aggressive. And so at the same time, you actually have a shock that feels natural, doesn't feel like, uh, you know, your steering's binding like a lot of the dual stabilizer setups do. So it really is, if you're looking for a stabilizer setup that is tailored towards your truck, that feels like it should, doesn't feel like some afterthought, these Carly stabilizers really are our favorite option for these trucks. After having done this for the past 10 years, we have a pretty good idea of how most tires combine with these steering stabilizers. So if you have any questions as far as what stabilizer or stabilizers we recommend for your truck, we're happy to answer those questions for you. Uh, we have all kinds of ways to reach us, phone, email, uh, messages, we're happy to help out because we want to basically help ensure you're getting the ideal stabilizer setup for your particular build. Now, uh, we have a lot more of these tech videos coming up and uh, we really hope that these help you guys, you know, dial in your builds. And uh, if you guys have any other ideas for videos, things you want to see, feel free to reach out. If you have any comments or concerns, we're happy to answer them for you. We appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much.